So I was just teaching this lesson to one of my Zoom one-to-one -one students the other day and realized there's a certain type of exercise that all bass players hate. This is basically the type of drill that requires you to understand a 360 degree approach when learning chord tones and tensions. So what I mean by that is taking a scale that fits over a chord containing all the chord tones and tensions and then create multifaceted triadic shapes from every degree of the scale and then learn them in a 360 degree fashion. Now, you might be thinking that you already know this material, but I assure you that most bass players who are watching this video do not. We're gonna be looking at this more in depth later on in this video, but first let's take a look at what the best scale is to use over, let's say a minor seven chord. Okay, so when checking out what scales work over a minor seventh chord, probably the perfect choice is the Dorian mode. This is because the root, the flat three, the five, and the flat seven of the chord is in the scale. Along with the nine, the 11, and the 13, all which are notes that we can use and resolve to when playing over the minor seventh chord. So if we take a look at the Dorian mode going up and down, Now, typically, when a lot of people learn to improvise using scales, what tends to happen is the intervallic structure of their lines tend to be the same as the way I played that scale up and down. So basically in successive major or minor seconds. So maybe a typical line that you might hear someone use when improvising over scale might sound something like this. <laughs> So by learning to reshape our paradigm when using scales, we can swap out these major and minor second linear ideas in exchange for these triadic shapes that we've been talking about. This is really going to open up and deepen your melodic vocabulary when playing over a tonality. Check it out. <laughs> So in order to develop that 360 degree comprehension and flexibility to improvise lines in this fashion, I want to take you through a series of drills where we're going to take a look at alternating triadic shapes over the Dorian mode. But instead of just referencing this from the root, we're going to be applying this 360 degree concept. So if we harmonize the Dorian mode in triads from the root position, this is what we're going to have. Applying this alternating triad concept, I'm going to go up one and then down the other. Taking the same principle and starting from the third in each triad, we're going to get this. Now with the alternating concept. Same thing from the fifth. Then applying the alternating approach over the fifth. Notice that by taking these three note triadic shapes and putting them together with eighth notes, it creates a polyrhythmic vibe of three against four. So after practicing each of these moving parts, let's put the whole thing together in succession.
So as you can see, there's an absolute depth of knowledge here. And this is only over one chord type. So we're really just scratching the surface here. If you want to study some of these concepts further, then you've got to check out my online bookstore, which is jam packed with these kind of ideas. Or you can sign up for one of my base courses and failing that, you can always put your name down from my private one to one Zoom lesson waiting list. Until next time, practice smart, work hard, and play creatively.